Did it stop recording? No, it didn't. Yes, it did. No! Hello, interwebs, and welcome back. I'm Shanna, and this is why I share my life and stories and inventions and opinions and whatever else I feel like. And today we are back with a brand new creepy, spooky webtoons series called the Vault of Horror, a collection of nightmares. Now, in all transparency, I typically read these stories like candid with no pre-reading or anything involved. That way you get a candid reaction from me. I did record this one already and we had a little bit of a problem where my screen recording stopped and I didn't notice. So just putting that out there. I'm really excited about this series though. I hope you guys are too. If you have any suggestions for other individual story-based webtoon series that are spooky or creepy that you would like me to read, please leave those down in the description box below. If you write your own spooky, creepy stories, or if you have your own paranormal experience that you would like me to read over here, the email for that is also down in the description box. I would love to hear from you guys. I really enjoy reading your original writing and your original stories as well as these webtoons. So I hope you guys are just as excited about this series as I am, and I've rambled enough already, so let's go ahead and get into it. The Vault of Horror, A Collection of Nightmares, Episode 1. The following is a work of fiction. This work contains scenes which may be disturbing for some readers, so those with weak hearts are not advised to read on. A new email. Jun Ho Huang, new short mystery comic for... I'm terrified to open it because I know that there's something very wrong with it. The Vault of Horror, a collection of nightmares. Research. Mid-May 2011. <sighs> Jun Ho and I were preparing a special summer horror comic for Naber. Jun Ho was writing the story and I was doing the artwork. Gasp. <sighs> Junho went to do some research on a place he wanted to use for a story. It was an old abandoned hospital somewhere. <sighs> Thud. Trickle. <sighs> Hiss. Ah! Help. Ah! Click. Hmm. He was probably hoping to surprise readers with this. It looks like the overall structure is pretty much set, but when I actually draw it out, it's not very scary. If Junho's having trouble coming up with a good scenario, then I should try to think of something. Bzzzt. Oh, it's him. Grab. Hey, out doing research? How's it going? Think we've got a good story for our horror comic? I've been looking around, but I haven't found anything exciting yet. But now that I'm here, I'm sure I'll be able to think of something. We'll just have to wait a bit longer. Anyway, the signal in here isn't very good, so it's not easy to call you. Even now, I was just barely able to find a signal. I'm surprised. I figured there were antennas all over the place. I never thought there'd be a place in Korea where phones don't work. Well, if you have trouble calling, just text me any ideas you get. I'll email you any good ideas or materials that I find too. Cool, sounds good. But hey, when do you think you'll be back? I'm still not, shh, hello? Junho, hmm, it cut off. Looks like this signal really is bad. 2.27 a.m. 2.27 a.m.? Where the heck is he at this time of night? A few days later. Regular attachment. I got an email from Junho. I attached some pictures for you, so check them out. This place seems to be a pretty famous abandoned hospital. They say it's because a lot of patients died or went insane for no reason. Rumors say that the doctors used to drill holes in patients' heads and do some kind of weird experiments. And since it's closed down, apparently anyone who came here out of curiosity either died from a strange disease or went missing. There are a lot of these kinds of stories. 
they've tried summoning shamans to cleanse the place, but they always pass out during the ceremony, so nobody comes around here anymore. I'm trying to tell myself that they're just stories, but being here gives me the creeps. I got a strange feeling after looking at the email and the attached pictures. I tried calling Junho, but I just couldn't get through to him. Ring, ring. Now that I think back on it, maybe it wasn't that he wouldn't answer. Maybe he couldn't answer. The next night, I got another email. There was nothing written in the second email. There was just what looked like a picture of the dark interior of the abandoned hospital. The rusty old operating tables looked more like torture racks and there were all kinds of tools and bits of things scattered on the ground. I kept expecting someone to jump out at me from one of the doors lining this seemingly endless hallway. The last picture in particular really disturbed me. It was just a shot of pitch black. I couldn't make out a thing. But it wasn't just normal darkness. I could definitely see the shape of something lurking in the dark. I kept trying to call June home, but I couldn't reach him for several days. Whenever I called him, I could just hear a faint buzzing sound in the background. It was the kind of sound an old squeaky machine might make if it needed some oil. Bzzz, creak, bzzz. And then finally, I got a third email from him. Strange, he sent me an email, but he won't pick up his phone. Click. I decided to think about that later and just open the email for now. What the? It's a bunch of gibberish. It was a jumbled mess of words and letters. Maybe it's some kind of internet or computer problem. Or maybe he's trying to mess with me. He hasn't lost his mind going to that hospital, has he? I ignored my anxieties for the moment and opened the attached picture. In the first picture, there was someone laying on the dark operating table. And beside that, there was a doctor in an operating gown. In the next picture, the doctor had turned his head and seemed to be glaring at the camera. And the pale doctor's hand there was a surgical drill. Those cold eyes seemed to be gazing at me right through the monitor. And it was only when I tore my eyes away from his and directed them to the person on the table that I saw something really unnerving. The shoes and the clothes of the person laying on the table were Junho's. I reported it to the police, but they still haven't found him. There isn't a single trace of evidence in the hospital that Junho was even ever there. I keep remembering that doctor's face. I'm afraid that Junho's going to suddenly call me. Thankfully, he still hasn't. But I got another email. New short mystery comic four. I'm terrified to open it because I know that there's something very wrong with it. As if possessed, my hand took on a life of its own and clicked the attached picture. Click. It was just a shot of pure darkness. It was so dark, it looked like the monitor had shut off. The dark monitor was like a mirror reflecting my own face. And then I saw the doctor standing behind me, staring at me. Bzzz. Naver Corporation, J.R. Naver, Happy Beam. Sir, today's the deadline for the special horror comic, but we still haven't heard from the author or artist. Did they say they were going to be late? Mm, I'm not sure. I tried calling them yesterday, but all I could hear was this weird buzzing sound. Should I try again? Uh. The author just sent me a copy of the comic. The title is The Vault of Horror, a Collection of Nightmares. Research. So sorry about the lighting change. 
the sun is going down and this always happens as the light starts to come through my windows. But guys, that's the end of the story. I, like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted because the screen recording turned off, I really like this story, not because it's the, the creepiest story I've ever read or the most scary story I've ever read or anything, but because as an introduction to this collection of stories we're reading, it puts you in this place where you are sort of a part of the story. And I love that. I think this is a really great first episode to this Vault of Horror collection. And I'm really looking forward to seeing what they come out with next. So given that, I would definitely give this a five out of five ghosts. If it was a standalone story, probably not. Given the context, five out of five ghosts. Now let's read the comments really quick. Well, guess who's changing their screensaver from pure black to holy white? Absolutely not, never dark mode all the way. If you are not a dark mode user, what's wrong with you? Something, something has to be. Just putting that out there. What is sleep? Who needs it? Let's see pictures of rainbows and puppies. Or like, you know, if it's that much trouble, don't read a horror story right before you go to bed. It doesn't bother me though. I'll be honest. I came to the comments section to check if there was a jump scare. Freaking cheater. If you were reading the comments to a story before you read the story, just so you know there's a jump scare or anything to be afraid of, you're a cheater. You're a damn cheater. Stop it. If you want to listen to somebody else tell the story, different. Don't read the comments first. What are you doing? But guys, I am, like I said, really, really, really excited about the next episodes of this. And I hope you are too, because that pretty much wraps it up for this one. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And if you don't know what to comment down below, leave, leave the little mail emoji. Not only does it help out my channel a lot, but it lets me know that you were here. It gives us a chance to chat. It lets me know you made it to the end of the video. And of course, I just love to see your faces down there. If you want another way to help out my channel down below, there are the links to my website, my merch store, and my Patreon. There's zero obligation to check any of those out, but if you want to, you can. Thank you guys so, so, so much for watching. I appreciate all of you so very much. Remember to stay Genki AF, and I will see you next time. Bye! Oh, hello there. Yes, uh, this is me casually drinking from my Genki AF merch because uh, I don't have any bloopers to share. But if you like my cup or my shirt or some leggings or some socks, there's links in the description below. Be ginky as and enjoy your coffee or tea or water or whatever else you like to drink from mugs. <laughs>